What's going on YouTube? Happy Tuesday. It's your girl V the Notary. I hope you guys are having a good day, a good week so far, and that you guys had a nice Memorial Day weekend. Um, I did. I had a great weekend, um, a really relaxing Memorial Day. My daughter went swimming with some of her, her track friends, and I was able to kind of relax and just eat some good food. Um, but yes, I had a really, really good weekend. I missed you guys. Um, I know I didn't drop any videos last week, so I apologize, but this week I definitely want to bring you guys some really good content. So let's go ahead and jump right into things. So today, this is for all my loan signing agents, um, specifically for my newer notaries and newer loan signing agents. But, you know, for all my older ones, you know, you can also gain some really great knowledge from this video for some things maybe that you're not doing as much that you would you would like to um so you know we all have to kind of feed off of each other and make sure that we keep each other on point and give each other information so you guys know i always like to do that and i also learn a lot from you guys so let's get into it so i want to talk today about some tips for new loan signing agents okay so we're going to specifically we're not going to talk as much about general notary as much as we are about the loan signing portion of it. So, you know, once you, or if you don't know, once you are deciding to become a loan signing agent, you know, you have to get your notary public, all of that in place. You know, I have videos about that. So you got to do that. Um, so first you have to be a notary public, right? And then depending on where you live, you may have to take additional training. Some places you don't. So again, it's always, it always goes back to the specific state that you live in. So find out the requirements for your state, make sure you have your background check, all of that, you know, all the basics of, you know, becoming a general loan signing agent, make sure you know your state's laws and the rules and regulations, have that stuff in place, right? So more specifically, some tips that I didn't find out immediately um, that you want to, you know, start working on right away once you have all the basics in place, you guys, is number one, you want to make sure that you are signed up with all of the loan signing services and title companies that you can sign up with. I cannot emphasize this. You cannot be signed up with too many. I don't care if, if you are able to sign up with 600, you know what I mean? Like, and you know, if you have that time, sign up with the minimum of 100. I have my video 101 signing services to sign up with. So make your, make sure you guys are signed up with everyone, okay? Because again, you're going to want to have, especially if you want plentiful amount of offers coming through from different signing services, you know, you have a better chance of doing that if you're signed up with a lot of signing services. So make sure that you do that, okay? Number two, make sure that you have some type of social media in place. Um, some people, you know, prefer TikTok. Some people prefer Instagram. Some prefer, you know, Facebook, whatever you're comfortable with, where you can or where you feel that you can reach as many, you know, um, people as possible. You'll have the most visibility if you want to sign up on social media um, with more than one, you know, um, place, then do that. Maybe you want to create an Instagram page and a Facebook page, do whatever you feel comfortable with. And then let everybody know that, you know, in, in your area, the state that you live in, that you are now a notary, you're a loan signing agent, specifically real estate agents, because they can refer you to the title company that they're working for. And I'm going to do actually a separate video on that. I really want to talk to you guys about how to really utilize um, your connections with your real estate agents. So I'm going to, you know, delve deeper into that topic um, later this week. But make sure that you're marketing yourself. Make sure you create your Google business page, okay? This is something that you need to do right away, okay? Number three, so we got, you know, you've done all of the preliminary stuff. You've become a notary public, right? You sign up with the signing services. You got your, your, you're going to make sure that you are on social media platforms to market yourself. You're going to create your Google business page. You guys create your LLCs. You, we talked, we, I talk at nauseum about this with you guys and the importance of having your business in place so that you can reap the benefits from having your business, you know, whether you decide to do an LLC, sole proprietor, whatever type of corp you do, 
make sure that you consult with your accountant <clears throat> and and you know pick the the best business structure that is for you okay so you want to do that and another thing you guys want to do this is so important you guys get business cards okay i didn't do this right away um and i i mean i i did it you know pretty quickly but not immediately and I noticed that when I would go to, you know, my different loan signing appointments and things like that, um, I would always, you know, tell my clients about the other services that I provided. And the first thing would say, oh my God, you know, I, I always need a notary. Can I have your business card? And I, you know, initially didn't have them. So create your business card, you know, if you work out at a specific gym, see if it's okay. If you leave some of your business cards there, um, at your kids daycare, you know, wherever there is high traffic and you can make sure that people know about you, get your business cards ready. So do that right away. If you haven't taken your headshots, do that right away. Okay. Don't just like do the cute little selfie with your own phone and put that on your business card. Don't do that. You know, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on your business cards. I mean, on your, um, yeah, your business cards do, and you know, you can do that through Canva. You don't have to hire an expensive company to do your business cards but for your headshots um you don't have to you know get really expensive headshots if you know someone that can do them they just need to be presented well professionally um no selfies please like you know you're you're trying to promote your business and you want to put your best foot forward and make sure that you are presenting yourself and your business in the most professional way okay all right, so we talked about business cards. We talked about uh, headshots. You definitely want to do that. Your marketing, um, signing up with the signing service. We talked about that. Make sure that you guys have your supplies, okay? So the basic supplies, obviously, you know, you need your sticky notes, sign here, notarized here. You need to make sure you have lots of blue pens on hand. You need to make sure that you have... Um, preferably a dual tray printer that is not slow as molasses like you want to and i'm going to do i actually want to do another video as well you guys on recommending my my recommendations on a scanner and printer that you should get um based on the one the ones that i use so make sure you have preferably a portable scanner so that you don't have to run home or run to the library or wherever to scan in your stuff especially if you are a full-time notary and you're doing stuff back to back you don't have time to run home to scan stuff make sure you have a scanner also new notaries and loan signing agents if you are scanning documents that like let's just say it's 50 pages or less you're not going to want to do the big humongous packages but if they are the smaller packages and you have an iPhone, you have a scanner on your iPhone. And I did a video on that too, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, so make sure you have your printers, scanners, your supplies, um, lots of paper, lots of toner. Um, you need your legal and you need your letter paper, okay? So those are the basics. Make sure you guys have those so that when you are ready to rock and roll, you're not scrambling around trying to make last minute orders on Amazon like you're really ready to go, okay? So you have all your supplies. You have, oh, get get yourself a good notary bag. Um, like a nice, you know, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be an arm and a leg, but a nice bag that you can hold, you know, your different packages, larger packages, all your supplies. And obviously, if you, when you become a notary, um, once you're before you're sworn in, they want to make sure you have your inker, your embosser, all of that. So you should already have that um, when you're sworn in. I know where I live, I had to bring that stuff to the commission when they swore when I got sworn in. Um, so I'm trying to think of what else you and then obviously the, the this is like kind of an obvious thing, maybe not so obvious. I don't know, but make sure you have like some professional. You know, you don't want to go to your loan signings with jeans on, you know, get, get some nice slacks, ladies, maybe like, you know, a nice longer dress that's over the knee dresses, you know, it's summertime, it's warm, make sure you have, you know, some stuff that's appropriate for the weather. Um, and you don't have to go in business attire with a suited and booted with a suit. Like it's not that serious, but make sure you have, you know, nice business, business casual clothes to wear at your signings. You don't want to show up there with like Lululemon tights. You know what I'm saying? Like I know it's probably tempting and cause I 
I love Lululemon tights, but you definitely don't want to wear that to your loan signing. So make sure you have the proper shoes, proper clothes. Um, I always have hand sanitizer with me. Um, there's sometimes I do loan signings where, you know, um, the client, I need to collect fingerprints from them. So, you know, make sure you have like hand sanitizer for them to wipe their hands off with. Um, what else do you, what other advice do I have and tips for new loan signing agents? Oh, and also another thing that I would suggest is get into those forms, new loan signing agents and find out information about the signing services. Not all signing services are created equal. And I hate to say this, not all of them are worth working with. You know what I mean? Like some of them are not paying on time. <laughs> Some of them are paying very, very low. Some of them are have bad customer service. You can't get a hold of them. You need um, responsible signing services to work with. You're offering them a service. They need to offer good customer service to you as well. So get in those notary forms, notary cafe, notary rotary. Like They have good forms where they other notaries are talking about their good and bad experiences with title companies and loan signing agents. So familiarize yourself with those, get in there and learn, you know, about some of these um, different signing services. So you know who to avoid, which ones are, you know, some of the better ones. It's better to always be armed with more information so you can avoid some of the pitfalls because there are some signing services that suck. Some of, most of them are really good. Some of them are amazing. Some of them are okay, but there are some that are terrible. Um, so make sure that you are aware of those. Um, and another thing um, for new loan signing agents, make sure you give yourself enough time to prep your packages, okay? prep your packages allow yourself enough time to you know for driving time um where i live traffic is can be really really bad um somewhere that's five miles away it could take 45 minutes to get there depending on the traffic so you know just always make sure you prep yourself and schedule your loan signings and give yourself enough time to not only do the signing prep the package but also drop off the package if you need to with UPS or FedEx and then get to your next signing or get wherever you need to go. Just make sure you take an account where you live. There's certain places like Houston, Atlanta, DC, LA, New York, you know, the list goes on and on where traffic is bad. So make sure you take that into account when you are planning your day for your loan signings, okay? So those are just some of the most important tips that I can think of, um, you guys, for new loan signing agents. And I think that this is a great video just for all loan signing agents because sometimes some of these things you don't think about. And especially when you're just starting out, um, all the things that I kind of talked about in this video are really important. So you want to make sure you stay on top of all that so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video if you if you like you know a video with just a whole bunch of tips in them if you do you know i'll start doing more of them um and then you know please share this video with any any not not just new low signing agents and notaries any notary because i do feel like you all could benefit from you know hearing some things like that if there's something i missed as always drop down in my comments let me know you guys um like subscribe Share, 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 please. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.